everyone, this is CRT. Welcome to this another Septandi episode. What I thought I would do today is I am going to show you more about the Nitrous 9 Ease of Use project. Now I've done a couple videos on this already, so I will put a link up there and down there to the playlist. I've done a video showing you how to get Nitrous 9 Ease of Use project working on both a VCC emulator and on real Coco hardware. So, and I've also done a video that just shows some of the functionality of it. And one thing about it is I'm not doing anything in any particular order here. I'm just showing you how to do these things as I learn how to do them. So this is as much my journey as it is your journey. So um, it's in no particular order. It's not that you should learn how to do this so that you can do this so that you can do this. It's I've learned how to do this, so I'm showing you how to do this. And now I've learned how to do this over here and I'm showing you how to do that. So yeah, let's jump right in and take a look. Okay, now here we are back in the Nitrous 9 Ease of Use project. And the first thing that I am going to look at is some stuff within the GUI. So again, that is just typing G shell. So first off, we have right here what I called the X menu in the last episode. Well, apparently I'm wrong. That is not an X. That is the Tandy, the symbol for the Tandy menu. So now if we go into that, and I showed you the calculator and the clock and everything. If you bring up the calculator and uh, you can set it to where you want it on the screen. So if I set it right here, hit the button once, well now something that I can do is I can resize it. Now I can't make it smaller than its original size, but I could make it grow to take up the entire half of the screen. Then hit the button again, and my calculator is in there, larger. Also, if I hit the clear button to go back, Hit the Tandy menu again. Let's say I can bring up the clock. Well, it unfortunately, there we go. Oh, wait, did I find a spot it would fit? There. So I can set it and then I can resize it too. And there we go. So you can put more than one thing on each screen and you can resize them to whatever size you want. Now another thing that you can do, let's get out of there, is if you don't have a joystick like this one, especially if you don't have um, a uh, joystick like the old Black Beauty here, then what you might want to do is hit Control Clear, and it has now turned your arrow keys into the mouse. So you can put it precisely where you want, and then your F1 and your F2 have become your mouse keys. There, and then you can go in and find some games to play. Into that file. So there you go. That is a couple of more things that you can do with the um, the GUI. Things that I hadn't showed you before. And also, um, if you want to change it back to having control with your joystick, just hit control clear again, and your joystick becomes your mouse pointer again. 
Also, when you are using the keyboard as your mouse, if you hold um, shift and one of the keys, you move a lot less. You move, I think it's eight pixels at a time when it's just pushing the arrow key. If you hit shift, you move one pixel at a time. So that's fine tuning. Also, if you hit control and an arrow key, you jump from right to the edge of the screen. So you can come up to the top, down to the bottom, there you go. And one other thing to mention here is that when you are in the uh, keyboard mouse um, configuration, if you need to use the arrow keys for anything that's not mouse related, the mouse actually overrides that. So you have to hit the control clear to get out of that and then use the arrow keys or the F1 and F2 keys because when they're in the mouse configuration, it is overriding any um, other things that those keys might do. All right, now we are going to look at a few of the things that you can do from the terminal line. Now, there's a few of the old standbys, like DIR will give you a directory. And also, one of the nice things about the um, OS9 our Nitrous 9 ease of use project is if you type help, it gives you a big long list of commands that you can use. And then it asks for a topic. So say you want to see, whoop. What does list do? And then it gives you um, basically the uh, what you can do with list. Or let's say you want to look at what is T. So this is a good way to go through and find out all of the commands that you can do with the uh, command line. Is just work your way through the help menu read everything up. It's all right there for you. Now to get out of the help menu, you just have to hit topic or uh, it, when it's on topic, you just hit enter to get out of that back to the terminal line. <clears throat> now another thing that you can do from the terminal is <clears throat> if you want to, you can load games up right from the terminal line. And bang, you're right into the game, you're ready to play, no need to load up the GUI or anything like that. Um, if there's a game that you know is on there and ready to play, just type it in and go ahead and play it. And now we will clear this screen up. Now another thing is that there's command line editing. If you use the up arrow, it takes you to the last command you typed in. Or the command before that, or the command before that, command before that, then it just wraps around. If you use the down arrow, it goes in the opposite direction. And obviously the arrows to the sides just move you through. Now enter will accept the command, but you have to be at the very end of the line. So if you're not, it only accepts the line up to where the cursor was. Now, <clears throat> if you go back in there, now if you use the uh, shift and then the right arrow, it moves you right to the end of it, the, um, the command immediately, then you can just hit enter. Shift back arrow or left arrow moves you right to the beginning of it. Now, if you use the control key while you're doing it, so say you've, uh, oops, I'm back into Tetris. Didn't want to do that. So say you wanted to play Tetris, but you spelt it wrong. Oh, error. Well, you can just go back up to where you did it, 
go on to one of the T's and hit control left arrow and it erases the T. If you hit control right arrow it adds a space and then you can uh, type something into that. So if you go, uh, oops, I erased too much, control right arrow, add the R that needs to be there, and there you go, you can play Tetris. And that is, in essence, the editing on the command line. So it's quite helpful uh, to be able to do that if you're typing in longer stuff, obviously. Short words, easy to just retype them, but if you're typing in long, complicated commands and you misspell one file name or something within the command, um, it's a good way to just go back and be able to edit that. Well, there we go. That is some more of the Nitrous 9 Ease of Use project. I hope that, uh, yeah, you are going to try this out for yourself. So one of the things I would like to say is a big thank you to L. Curtis Boyle for, first off, giving me some direction on some of the stuff I should be showing you on these videos, and second off, for being one of the people that helped to create the Nitrous 9 Ease of Use project, because... Yeah, it is just incredible to think that you can do this on an old color computer. I'm having so much fun learning this, so I hope you are going to try this out. Definitely, whether it's an emulator or real hardware, just try it out. It's a lot of fun. Anyways, um... Yeah, I've got nothing else to say, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, you know what you can do with the liking, the subscribing, and or the commenting below, because anything and everything you do is always greatly appreciated. But I'm going to go for now, so see you next time.